Well, howdy, y'all, and welcome to Crafters TV. My name's Ben Mosby. Thanks for joining us for the, what, as he said, final, penultimate show, penultimate live show of 2023. Three, can you believe it? Uh, we've got an hour here for you on Crafty Stash. We've been doing like the hour long Crafty Stashes right throughout the week. And then of course, later on tonight from six o'clock in the UK, we're all looking forward to it. It's gonna be amazing. One o'clock Eastern, uh, 10 a.m. Pacific. We have got our Craft Vault Christmas party show where we've got some great deals for you. But more than that, we're just gonna be having a bit of a knees up to be honest with you. We've got some games to play. We've got some competitions going on. We have got um, some um, crafting to do as well in that later show. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be super interactive. You guys can play along as well. Um, so do make sure, please, you come and join us for that final live show of the year. That's not to say that we finish. Of course, there'll be um, loads of shows running throughout the festive period on 24-7 over on um, YouTube. But you will also be able to watch our Christmas special at one o'clock Christmas Day UK time and our New Year's Eve special on New Year's Eve uh, that Craig and I have done. So yeah, lots to look forward to. This crafty stash though is all about your shimmer sprays. So if you haven't yet got your shimmer sprays, they are available in individual colors for you over on the website. Best thing to do there is hit the shop the day button and you'll see all of the deals. You'll also see on the website your um, winter sale deals as well. However, uh, if you have got your shimmer sprays, this is gonna be a brilliant show for you to be able to ask any questions, come in with any comments. If you are, are stuck with them, maybe you need some ideas with them, then feel free to fire in any questions that you might have. Um, and during the next hour, Michelle is gonna be showing you lots of different ways to use them. Uh, she is here, she's back. Uh, she was obviously uh, feeling a little bit poorly yesterday, but pleased to say that she's back fighting fit today and looking super duper sparkly in a super duper sparkly cardigan and top. How many times have you caught yourself in your cardigan now? Um. 365 <laughs> times. <laughs> it's that two little hooks here that obviously hook it together. Because I haven't got it closed, I keep catching on. I've got sequins and I've got all sorts on here, so I keep catching on. <laughs> So, try to craft like that. <laughs> the good thing is, though, we said, as soon as you're working with the shimmer sprays, if you get a bit on you, we're not likely to see it, though, are we? So. You'll not notice at mm. all. I mean, I've got glittery nail varnish on, I've got glittery um, eyeshadow on, um, so you wouldn't, you no, you won't notice. Um, what is the plan, then? Have you you've got a few sort of demos lined up your sleeves? Are you, are you happy to kind of try things if people ask or answer questions? Yes. If you, if you, you know, you want to say, if you do this or this, what, what will it look like? So we'll do it. We'll have a play. Um, I've got a few techniques just to show you, you know, a few different techniques that you can do with these. But definitely, if you want to see how something would work, how two would blend together, whatever your questions, definitely get them in and ask and we will do it. All righty, we've got uh, Superstar Susie on the socials for the last two lives of the year. Hi also to Stephen, Nicole, who says, afternoon, everyone. Hello. Hi to Sarah Brown, who says, hello. I said I'd be back and here I am at 2 a.m. Wow. Are you going to get a couple of hours sleep in between this show and the next? I do hope so, Sarah. Uh, sending you all Christmas hugs, especially to Michelle and Ben, the best lead presenter in the biz. <laughs> Um, I've sent in my pick for the latest show, Ben. I hope you got to see them. I'll ask the boys. I just heard them go. Ooh, yeah. Sarah Brown, yeah. Now I'm gonna have a look. Uh, ben McCarthy says, good afternoon, everyone. Shopping in Morrison's. It's chaos. If I had hair, I'd pull it out. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> Easy. See, you need me there because if I was there, you'd be all shimmery to walk around Morrison's. Is he, a, is he a better shopper than you? Because I always think when I go do the food shop on my own, I feel like I can get round a lot quicker because I know what we need, I know what we want, and I just do it. Whereas I feel when we go with Laura, she will go, oh, what, oh what's that? And then we have to start looking at stuff. Where, what, what you like? Sort of, because he cooks. Ah. So he gets down that aisle with all the spices and all those weird things, lotions and potions. We can, I can do the whole supermarket and come back and he's still looking at the ginger and the oh, tamarind yeah. and all the weird stuff. I mean, I'm not complaining because my meals that he makes are amazing, but if you get him down that, if I steer him past that aisle, we're good. Mm. But if he happens to wander down that aisle, he's lost. Yeah. He's gone. It's like a kid in a candy shop. Yes. <laughs> yes. 
Um, hi, Emma Thrower. Hi, Brenda K. Tatchell from Kentucky. She says, so glad I get to watch today. Make sure you're in tonight, please. I want to get like a, the biggest viewership ever on the show tonight. Uh, Dan Adams says, hi again from Las Vegas. I've got my chocolate chip and peanut butter cookies baked. Mm, mm, Ooh, mm. That sounds nice. It does sound nice. Um, can't wait to watch the shimmer spray, says Emma. Uh, Stephen says, ready to watch the B&M show. <laughs> BM, BM. Do, 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 do. do. <laughs> Uh, Betsy Throop Black says good morning from Houston, Texas. Hello, Betsy. And hello also to Laurie Barnett, who says hello from a beautiful rainy morning in Gilbert, Arizona. Just before we get started and into this with Michelle, if you are shopping too, you may not know that we do have a discount code. There you go. Enjoy an extra 20% off on us with that code. Mary23, M-E-R-R-Y-2-3. -R uh, it's multi-use, uh, standard T's and C's apply. But just basically, if you're shopping for anything, whack it in the, um, the discount code box at checkout and you're away. And you can use that, by the way, across the winter sale and outlet sale pages too. All right, here we go then. Uh, fire in the questions, fire in the requests. Let's get started with the shimmer sprays. So we've got eight to be playing with on the show. What are you going to show us first, Michelle? Uh, we're going to go right back to basics with them. We're just going to have a bit of a spritz onto a nice Christmas gift bag. Oh, nice. Um, the hardest thing is going to be deciding which one we want to pick. But I think I'm going to go with the Sunset Bronze. So um, we'll go over a little bit about what these are, how to look after them and sort of things like that first. So they're your shimmer sprays. Mm hmm and what it is, it's that mica that you've got inside here. And you have got a lot of mica compared to some of the others on the market. The amount of mica that Liana's managed to get in these mm. is off the charts. Um, so that means two, well, it means numerous things. One, it means um, your cards are going to be like no others. Yeah. But because you've got that amount of mica in there, it means we need to um, take a little bit of care with our shimmer sprays. Um, so it, it's literally what it is, is your nozzle is going to get clogged up with all that mica because it's just like tiny, minuscule pieces of glitter. Yeah. So you can imagine those trying to go through a spray that is supposed to spray just a water, just a liquid. It is going to get clogged up. Um, so you, you will take your nozzles, you will soak them. I know someone said earlier, um, you know, she soaks hers in water, she gives them a good spray and a good clean, and that's really what it's all about. In some nice warm water, um, soak them, spray um, the warm water through your nozzle and give them a nice, good clean. After F every use, definitely. If it gets to the point where your nozzle's just not having any and it's done and dusted, we have a little care pack. You've got, um, yeah. I think it's two or three nozzles it's in three. there. Three nozzles. Yeah. Um, a bottle. And you've got a little funnel. In yeah. fact, I had my little funnel just next to me. Oh, it's there. You get a little funnel in it as well. So what that's going to do is if your nozzle is packed up, it's going to allow you to decant it in two. Um, things like this, so your little Spectrum Noir spritzers, um, any other little bottles that you've got, any little atomizers that you've got, you can um, decant it into those. Uh, the good thing about that is all those different nozzles on all your different bottles are going to give you a totally different spray pattern, mm -hmm. which means you're getting so much more um, scope with these, lots of different patterns and textures uh, and things like that. So. Um, I think that's it really. We've run over how to look after them and now we're just going to have a little bit of a play. Okay. So you need to give it a good shake to mix all that mica up. And that's every time, right? Not just from new. Yes, every time. Give it a good shake to mix it all up. Um, I've just got a brown bag. I've got some patterned paper and I've got some black cardstock. 2024, because of course. Just before half past eight. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. So all we're going to do with this one is let me get my... I can't believe it's. Can you believe we're nearly 2024? No. I, I can remember when like, the ball dropped for the millennium, and all the set, oh like 24 God, yes. years ago. Yes, because everyone was panicking about their computers the, the, and the millennium whole world bug. shutting down. Yeah, Isn't that it? was weird. Um, yeah, it doesn't seem like two minutes. Here we are, nearly a quarter of a century later. Oh my God, it is. <sighs> And it's crazy because I'm still only 29. Dano! <laughs> it's funny, for every five years that passes, we only seem to age a year. Yeah. Right, so um, let me pick this gold one. My, I was going to use. It's just, it's so hard to decide on which ones you want to use. I'm going to go for this one. Okay. 
So you're going to give it um, a shake and yeah. we're just going to spritz that bag. Oh, OK. So just randomly round the outside, because remember, we're going to um, pop some mats and layers on and I'm just going to pop it to the side. And don't forget, you can do it on all of your papers as well, uh, even your pattern papers. And it just sprays absolutely beautiful. Let's pop that to the side as well. And I think I'm just going to stand back a bit, a little bit, because I'm going to attempt to do a bit of a, a, a oh, okay. lightning strike down the um, middle. So you could potentially then, if you've got some of like your um, brown, like the wrapping paper, you yes. could like spray it onto all that and create this beautiful sparkly of wrapping paper. Of course you could. Yeah, okay. absolutely. Any of your gift bags, if you've just got plain coloured gift bags, you're mm. going to be able to spray it onto those. Obviously, depending on what coating you've got on those, if you've got like um, a plastic coating or something like that, it's not going to sit on it. But if it's just a paper, then yeah, it's absolutely, it's going to go on there and it's going to go on absolutely lovely. So all we're going to do now is we're just going to dry it off. So just so then I can pop it on there. But I did, I thought I'd do this this particular one just to show you how um, one colour, how different it looks on the black card, the craft card, and then just a bit of pattern paper. Oh. So in a sec, I will lift it up and just show you. I thought you were going to stencil through the 2024. <gasps> I never thought to do That's that. That's what I thought you were going to do. See, not only are you the lead <laughs> presentator, <laughs> presenter. Potato, you are... did you say? <laughs> Lead potato. Presentate. Presentate. I don't even know what I was saying. <laughs> anyway, finish the sentence. Not only are you the lead potato, but. <laughs> so, um, very simply, at the mildest or the easiest Ooh, way that you're going to yes. use it, you're going to be really making just your craft bags look fabulous. It's made it look a bit um, le like leather. Uh, Do yeah. anyone else see that now? On the craft? Yeah. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. It does. Shall I put it up? Oh, here we go. There we go. Jamie's going to come in. Doesn't it? Boom. Very good. It just good. looks beautiful, it does. doesn't it? Because I think as soon as we get them, we, just, we go on either white card or black card. Mm. Um, but any of your pattern papers that you've got that you want to sort of look, Zhuzh up. Just, yeah, zhuzh up. Mm. But very bougie, that one. And again, you can see, though, even though, um, obviously, I've sprayed it, it's that shimmer spray, mm. um, it is really thick and juicy. It's not sort of watery, if that makes any sense at all. You know, sometimes you get that really um, washed out effect when yeah. you can be using these, but not with this. It's going to just be as thick and as juicy. Mm. Uh, when you pop it on to any of your colours, um, coloured cards, papers, stocks, anything like that. So we're literally just going to pop this together now. I'm just looking yeah. for my um, tape pen. So it's dry enough. So always make sure that it's nice and dry before you try to pop any of your glues on it. So just a black mat with some of our gold... Um, Glitter card. card yes. <laughs> I can't think what it was called. Gold, gold, gold glitter card. And then we're going to, we're going to pop that on there. And then we're going to pop that. I've got another piece of glitter card just in the middle. So I'm just going to build up just a few mats and layers. But all those different mats and layers have got the same shimmer on. So even if you only want to buy one shimmer um, spray, then you absolutely can because yeah. even just with one shimmer spray, you're going to have so much fun. It's a nice way as well, isn't it? A nice way to, well, as I say, zhuzh up what could be like quite a plain little gift bag. Yeah, you can pick definitely. Those up fairly inexpensively, but they're inexpensive for the fact that, you know, they don't look brilliant. But if you've got things like your shimmer sprays and nice cardstock to give them that little bit of uh, pizzazz, definitely. Then you should definitely do it. Definitely. I mean, sometimes we just don't have time no. to throw loads of um, bags and boxes together as well. So if you've already got one pre-made or if you're very much like me, if when you're gifted one the year before and you really like it, you keep it and you want to zhuzh it up and gift it back to the same person who <laughs> gave you it last year, yeah. you absolutely can because if you're going to be popping some of these shimmer inks on it, they're not going to have a clue 
that it's the same box or the same gift bag that they sent you last year. So, of course, I'm always going to pop some foam on. Even on the fronts of your gift bags, it's always nice to have that little bit of depth on there. So, popping that all the way down. Right, um, pokey tool. It's, oh, it's there. So, let's just lift that up. And then let's pop it on the front. Oh, oh. Just, I just caught a little bit. <laughs> oh, there we I go. I got caught on my sleeve and They're then I dropped you that. Your card. I know. Oh dear, it's all going on. <laughs> and then just a nice little bow at the top. Let me find. Oh, oh everything's stuck to everything now. We've had it. Just a nice little bow just on the top. But before I go on, what I want to show you is this. So I was going to do this card as well, and it's just one colour. Um, obviously, we've sold out of the silver, so I'm not going to do it now, but I still want to bring it in and show you. Just using that one colour, so that is just the silver mm -hmm. on there. How wow much... I mean, it's black card. Yeah. So I just wanted to show you, just using one colour, um, actually, again, looks absolutely yeah. amazing. So don't feel like you need to put lots of colours together um, and really go sort of to town. I mean, absolutely, you can go to town. Mm. But if I just, there you go, look, that little... Uh, so good. It just adds, as I say, that little bit of pizzazz, that little yeah. bit of je ne sais quoi. Je ne sais quoi, yeah. Thank you, everyone, for all the lovely messages coming through. This is your show. We're here for, well, the next 40 minutes or so, bringing you ideas, way to use these. If you have any questions about the shimmer sprays, please ask. But like I've said, you can pick up. We've got eight of them available. The only two that you can't get are the Ice Silver and the Royal Velvet. Those have sold out. The rest of them, though, are available for you on the website. So just hit the Shop the Day button. Uh, few comments. Thank you for all of these. Um, I feel like we're going to be big on comments in this show and later because uh, we obviously want to send our um, Christmas wishes um, to you guys. And I know you'll want to send your wishes um, to us and to everyone else. So I'll read out as many as I can. Um, Jeffrey Langley says, Happy Friday, Ben and Michelle, uh, and marvellous and great CTV crew. We've got uh, Jamie and also Dean once again in the gallery steering the good ship craft. Uh, you've got a hello and a, oh yeah, mate. Uh, hi to Lillian, uh, hi to Carletta from Arkansas, Beth Metzger's in from North Dakota, wishing everyone a Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Pammy's with us as well. I feel like I've not seen your name in ages, Pammy. Um, welcome. You say good morning. Gaz is in saying, oh, ooh. Ooh, a big hello to our Ben, Michelle, and everyone at CTV Towers, and a big hello to you too, Gaz. Uh, Michael Adams says, Hi, Ben. Hercule sends Christmas greetings to Vernon. Vernon, as you will see, is on the show. He's just sat on the G2 over there. He's watching um, Hercule. Uh, Vernon sends his regards back. Uh, EB says, Woohoo! I made it. Good morning, everyone, from Abami, Kansas City, Missouri. Uh, Michael says, The best craft channel on TV. That's us, that is. Happy festive wishes to everyone. Thank you. There's uh, Vernon. Say happy, happy Christmas, Vernon. Happy Christmas, Vernon. There you go. Uh, Cat Butt says, hi, everyone. I'm getting over dental surgery, so I'm a bit floppy. Uh, but Merry Christmas to everyone. Well, Cat, Merry Christmas to you, and hopefully um, your, your mouth, whatever you have done, uh, feels better soon. Uh, Lynn says, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year to all at Crafters Companion and the Crafty Friends. Same to you, Lynn. Uh, and also, Rhonda says, Good morning, Ben, Michelle, crew, Team Social, and all my incredibly crafty friends from all over the universe from Oak Park, Chicago. Uh, Donna Yan says, Hello, everyone, from Vero Beach, Florida. Regarding the shimmer sprays, thank you, Donna. I did know this, we did know this, but we'd forgotten. She says, regarding the shimmer sprays, Leanne has a great video on care and use of them. It's very helpful. Yeah, I remember when we launched them, she did that video. Check it out on YouTube. Uh, Michael says, Hercule has sent in a photo of his Christmas hat. We will look. Uh, Kathy Green says, hi, Michelle and Ben from Mechanicsburg. Whoop, 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 whoop. Best place in the USA. Um, can't wait for my little granddaughters to get here so we can craft together. What a Christmas treat that will be. Marvellous. Uh, Sandra Dundas says, hi, Ben, Michelle, uh, CTV crew, social media superstar, and all my crafty chatty chums uh, made it back from the doctors in record time. Uh, lovely to have you here, Sandra. Hope you are OK. Uh, Teresa says, good morning, everyone. Sandra says, great big crafty hugs to all my chatty chatty 
all my chatty chums who need them. Uh, and Trish Lestelle says, so glad to see demos for the shimmer sprays. Uh, it motivated me to get mine out and give it a go. So thank you, Michelle. And EB says, cannot wait to see what Michelle is doing with these. She always has such great ideas and makes. Final few quick hellos, then we'll get back to Michelle. Sherry Jackson's in saying good morning. And she says, glad that you're feeling better, Michelle. Thank you. Uh, Sherland Telsford is with us. Hello, Rosalind Russell. Hello, Pat Demarest. Wishing everyone a very Merry Christmas. Beverly Bryant uh, says hello again. Uh, glad to see Michelle is feeling better. Shadai is in saying good morning, my Lord Ben and the lovely Michelle. Morning. Hi also to Mary Beth Doyle, who says good morning, everyone from Minnesota, taking a break to see what Michelle is doing. And George Ann Curley says, Ben and Michelle, have a very Merry Christmas and a safe holiday to all. Crafters TV team and crafty friends. And same to you and yours, George Ann. All right. Uh, no oh. questions so far, which is good uh which oh no, sorry <laughs> michelle's getting stuck on herself again she's like this yeah, I, I, just look, I, just, I just look now and again she's just like that <laughs> <laughs> just trying to pick things up <laughs> um yes fire in any questions you want to ask but if you, we don't hear any we will just assume you're happy with what michelle is showing so we will just carry on uh with what michelle has got lined up so what shall we do next Look what I found. What you got? Oh, is it the mixed media mat? Yes. Boom. That's on well, the web. <laughs> I was going to tip some out onto my glass mat, but then actually, um, I'm going to tip them into here. So oh, it means yes, that they're, they're not going to get sort of mixed up. So I'm going to tip three or four, or five or six or out. Seven or eight. <laughs> so I'm just going to just randomly pick a couple because I'm going to do a little bit of painting with them. Okay. It wouldn't be a me show if I didn't no. do a little bit of painting with, if I could can turn it into a bit of watercolouring, yeah. um, then I'm absolutely going to. And I actually like the fact that, do you know what? You are just taking the lids off and decanting these because you can paint. I mean, you obviously have the spray nozzle there, but that's not to say you have to use it as a spray every time. No, that's it. I just need to shake that. Yeah. Oh, do you know what? I saw you pour that and then I was thinking, has she poured anything out of there? And then you were putting the lid back on. I thought, oh, my eyes have gone. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't shake it enough. I'd not shook that one, ah. and I could see as I was about to pour it that um, it was a bit thin. And mm. it, it's funny because you, when you pour it, when you've shaken it and you pour it, it's a lot thicker. Can you see how it blobs like yeah. that? Almost like it's a real thick paint. So that one there you're pouring, that's available. That's the summer meadow, isn't it? I think, I think I'm using ones that are sh should all yeah. be available. It's so like I've got the summer the meadow. Summer meadow Golden yeah. Heather? Celestial map. Celestial map. And Golden Heather. Golden Heather, yeah. yeah. Oh, look at you. <laughs> Presentation lead. <laughs> well, that's why you see, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. And then I think we'll just. No, we have to do a gold, don't we? Gold shimmer. <laughs> that one's for you, Susie. You got there before you typed it on my tablet. And then, so gold dust. Gold dust. So I know that I have poured way too much out. So there's a couple of things you can do. If this does just dry up in here and you forget about it, add a little bit of water yeah. and it'll reactivate it. Um, on, on, and if you don't want to do that and you know you've definitely got way too much. Oh, see my hands? Oh, <laughs> oh wow, you're, uh, yes. I'm literally turning into the woman from gold gold finger <laughs> <laughs> absolutely <laughs> um, yeah and if you don't want to just leave them there then definitely tip them out spread them about and create some beautiful backgrounds mm. so let me get my um little bit of kitchen roll i've got my watercolor card and i've got a wet brush um because i've got my I've got my water lids on oh, so yeah. we're all safe we're just about safe <laughs> i'm just going to just add a little bit of water to my card. And then again, I'm gonna dip my brush in. I'm just gonna decide which color I want to go with first. Pick a little bit up and just squiggle a little bit down. And because I've got water on there, it's going to just spread about a little bit for me. And then I'm just gonna bring it up. Just looking to see, yeah, we have got that uh, multimedia craft mat available. Uh, it's 19.99, not in the outlet sale but it is available on the web if you want to pick that up. Very handy, isn't it? If you like to get messy like Aunt yes. Michelle. Yes, yeah. It's me, messy, never. Oh, just now and again. I had flashbacks then because that's what my mum always used to say. What, messy Michelle? Oh, yeah, messy Michelle, yeah. I just, I don't know what people mean. <laughs> <laughs> 
That colour green looks like the Grinch, says Trish Lestelle. Oh, it does. You're a mean one, <laughs> Mr Grinch. I saw someone post yesterday that if they had moved to the top of a mountain, far, far, far away from everyone, mm. and they could still hear the villagers singing their songs down in the village, mm. they'd be really angry and cranky and green too. And yeah. I sort of get it. Yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I've watched that this year, actually. I haven't, not yet. Uh, oh, I'd watched the original. The new one is the cartoon, isn't it? Oh, I turned that off after about five minutes. I, I've not seen it. Is, I'm gathering it's not any good. Say that again. Is it not any good? Uh, I just, mm, I've got quite a short attention span. I think it just didn't, <laughs> it just didn't grab me within like, the first okay. ten minutes or so. <laughs> and Benedict Cumberbatch, who I really, really love as an actor, is the voice of the Grinch in that one. And I just don't. I think because you're so used to Jim Carrey doing the Grinch, aren't you? I didn't course, think that he did. Yeah. The, I don't think he did the voice right. So, I, yeah, didn't get it right. Um, what size brush is best? Emma's asking for what you're doing right now or painting with these. Um, so, what I'm using this one. So, this is a half inch one, and I find this the best. Mm. Um, the the one that's smaller is too small to do what I want with. You can absolutely use the one inch brush. Yeah. I'm using my half inch brush because. It fits perfectly in here without me having to and take little tippy the lid off. <laughs> but the half inch or the one inch, and because it's got that lovely flat, you can see, that lovely wide flat um, brush head, it's just absolutely perfect for this. Oh, I just realised what you're doing as well. This is the one that you did at home, isn't it? Well, that... I did that, um, yes, well, it should have been with the um, ink pads yesterday, yeah. that one. Yeah. Uh, and I didn't get to do it because um, Johnny made me go home. <laughs> mm. So I thought I'd, I'll use these and we'll just do something a little bit similar to that one. Okay. It's very much in the same vein. Um, I did my, I used it yesterday with the inks, but today I'm just using it with the watercolours, um, shimmer sprays. But So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dry this off okay. just a little bit. Um, whilst you're drying, we'll say hello to Robbie who's joined us, saying good morning from Alabama. Merry Christmas to Kratos Companion and all employees. We love you. We love you guys. Um, Gilmore joins us. Hi, Gilmore. Says hello, Ben. Uh, Michelle, Susie, Crafters TV team, CC crew, and Crafty peeps. Good to have you here. Uh, Samantha Lung says happy holidays. Gretchen Dippy says Merry Christmas. Uh, Mary Shaw says Merry Christmas. And Jacob Boo says Merry Christmas all. If you haven't bought the My Special Papers box, I'm in awe of how beautiful they are. I enhance them with the shimmer spray or use the sparkle brush to highlight the butterflies. That's another great shout. Like Michelle was talking about a minute ago, like you know, enhancing your um, things like your gift bags, enhancing those papers, Michelle, the My Special Papers pad, these would be incredible with that, wouldn't they? They would be absolutely perfect for that, yeah, definitely. Because they're going to go on just your papers, and even though your papers are lighter weight, um, you're just doing a spritz on them. So as long as you're just doing a spritz and you're not saturating your paper, yeah. you're going to be absolutely fine. Right, so even though you can see that I used a lot of water with that, let me see if I can get, there you go. Look, you can still get, shall we turn it around and see if Jamie can get it? Oh, there we go. Look at it all, Boom. you've still got all that shimmer in yeah. there. So what we're gonna do now is, uh, again, the one that I did for my ink pad show yesterday, I did a little bit of watercoloring, but for this one, I'm gonna bring in some of my stamps. Um, so I've got both of these, and I can't decide, I think I'm gonna use this one. Okay. Sometimes those decisions are just too hard to make. So you can tell you can tell what I use a lot of at home, okay. can't you? Um, so I'm going to bring in my stamping platform as well because now it's dry. We're going to be able to do all those other techniques on top of it if that's what we're wanting to do. So you could absolutely now come in with your aqua pens and yeah. do some aqua water, aqua water colouring. Aqua water. Some, some, some water water colouring is basically what I just yeah. said, isn't it? Water water. <laughs> um, or you can come in now with your classics or your tri blends, and you know you can colour on top of these. You can stamp on here and colour it in with your various different kinds of pens. Um, I'm going to come in. Just with a couple, I'm thinking, I'm not sure, flagstone. I'm going to go with the black, because I think the black's going to look absolutely fabulous. And I'm going to line that up. I don't want to go all the way up. So I'm just going to line that up over the bottom. And then we're going to go in 
just with my black. Mm -hmm. Now I'm using my waterproof one because um, obviously they're water based and knowing me and what I'm like I'll, I'll decide to go in afterwards and add a little bit of this or a little bit of that. So if I've already used my waterproof ink pad yeah. then I can do that. If I've gone in with my quick dry or one of my others I'm not going to be able to do that. Um, so I'm always going to do that even though I think I've finished. If you're anything like me, you probably haven't. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm very happy with that. It's just sort of nice and simple. You could go um, add something to that edge if you wanted. Um, it's feeling a little lopsided for me. So I think what you can either do then now, I did have a sentiment, but I'm not gonna use it because it doesn't fit now. Mm. I've got that best wishes, although it doesn't look too bad. I know that does work. I'm just feeling a little, Minimalist. Yes, I'm feeling a little um, naked down that side. <laughs> so I've got, and again, I've got those other stamps that I've still got here as well, which work beautiful for this kind of um, sort of technique. It's so another really um, cool and funky technique, but very achievable again, isn't it? This is what I'm loving about these shows. Is yes. They show us how to look like an absolute pro, but you don't need to have been crafting for donkey's years. No, def definitely not. Um, I, I think I like to try and show you stuff that you would look at and think, oh, I can't do that. But when I've broke it down for you, um, you're like, oh, that's how it's done. Very much like the train. You were all like, there's no way I can do that. I can't do that in two hours on a craft along. And how many trains have I seen on yeah. there? It's all about just breaking it down step by step. That's Might it. take a while, but so worth it. Um, that brown bag you used, I don't think it was, but um, Emma's asking, was that one of the Sarah Craft gift bags? I don't think, um, I think those are a little bit smaller. I think they're a little yeah. bit smaller. Yeah. I got them from, um, I got them from the works. What? The works. The what? <laughs> ah, <laughs> the... They were like five for a pound. It rhymes with the schmirks. <laughs> I couldn't think of a word. The only word I could think of, I, I can't say on air. Oh. It starts with a J. <laughs> You'd probably get away with that. Yeah. <laughs> Jamie said Jamie Jamie. isn't a J. Oh. <laughs> uh. um, so let's just um, heartfelt um, greetings. No, heartfelt love. You're loving those stamps, aren't you? I love these. They are good. Absolutely love them. So. Let's just pop that on there. Okay. Michelle's got the straight. Midas touch, says Beverly. Um, oh. Pammy's currently filling her cart. And Taden Turner says, taking a shot every time Michelle gets herself caught <laughs> would, be, would be a very merry Christmas. Hashtag drink responsibly. I need to wear this Christmas day and that's the game that I need to play. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Don't need any new board games for Christmas. That's so funny. Oh, apparently that was round four in the Christmas games later on. Oh dear. Uh, that's so funny. Uh, Tess says, Ben, my husband is watching Goldfinger this morning. And I just had to laugh when the theme song was playing and your voice played in my head. <laughs> oh, shimmer. Love it, James Bond. You, you've got to watch a bit of Bond over the um, holiday. You, oh, I thought you were going to say you haven't watched a single James Bond movie then for a second, Jamie. Love James Bond at Christmas time. And why yeah. is it always so much better? I think this is movies in general, right? Even if you've got them on DVD, why is it so much better to watch a movie when it's on the TV? Yeah, that is the piece of black card that I, um, sp this morning I spritzed, I held it over my stencil yeah. to um, spritz just part of it, so I'm going to use that. Um, so that's just going to be my background because you've got that lovely um, gold popping through. My heartfelt love there, you know when I said that there's just too much space there? Yeah. Um, so we're going to pop that on there. And I think when you are sort of doing like watercolour in type techniques, I think it's very nice. I think it just works well to keep it all very simple. What sentiments have you gone for there? Love. Heartfelt love. Oh, heartfelt. I don't think it makes sense. It made sense before I put heartfelt it on. love. Heartfelt love. It should yeah. be sending. Or with. It? Or with, yes. With heartfelt love. Sending or with. With. Do uh. I have a with? Have you got a sending? I've got a sending. Send a sending. I mean, put a sending. 
No, not ascending, sending. <laughs> sending. Is there no width? Oh, there is a width. It's right down I was at the bottom. Say there must be, surely. I want that one. So, sending heartfelt love makes so much more sense, doesn't it? So, pop that on there. With. Hang on a minute. We've already done the vote for demo of the day, haven't we? Yes. Uh. Oh, we've got to do those before the end of the show as well. <gasps> oh. Well, no, because there's the bag as well. So, anyway, well, yeah. So, are we, are we going to do another so, vote? Well, then? I've got my card here that was demo of the show earlier. Yeah. So, if we put one in from this show, yeah. then that whichever's picks would be demo of the day. Right, so we so we're gonna yeah we will. So we have to yes. do demo of the day, demo of the week, demo of the month. I think they're all up there, aren't they? Yeah. Okay. Are we show day, week, month. Are we gonna do the that whole now then, shebang. Are we? are we doing it now? So if you do any more demos from now on we can't count them. No, that's fine. Okay. So should we start with this these two? <laughs> do those two. <laughs> So this is vote for. So I know. Oh, sorry. So earlier on, when we said it's it was demo still. of the day, that's now just demo of the show for yes. earlier. Yes. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, uh, number one with the gold shimmer on all those different um, papers and cards, and then number two, just painting them out and then stamping that beautiful, um, just black stamped image on there. <laughs> uh, Susie's just put day, week, month, oh my. Day, week, month, oh my. <laughs> loads, of, loads of votes. Um, so, whilst we do, are we, am I reading now, am I? Yes, I'm reading. <laughs> okay, you're, okay. Then what are we doing? More, are we, ah, oh, pictures. We're doing, Oh, yeah. we've got pictures. We've got some pictures. Um, Jacob Boo says, have an awesome Christmas, Ben. Thank you. You say, um, you always, ah, oh, thank you. Ben, you always bring joy to my day. Well, I try, I try. Um, Michelle, thank you for all your inspiration. You are so gifted. Oh, thank you. Um, Irene says, I'm thankful for my tape pen. My son received a Christmas card from his real estate agent and the Christmas tree on the card fell off as soon as he opened it. But my tape saved the day. Irene in Georgia, marvellous to hear. And good old tape pens, right? Good old tape pens. <laughs> uh, Tammy Barnhouse says, Ben, I love your sweater. Thank you. Um, I'm quite fond of this one, but I don't wear it often because it is, it is quite... I don't know, it's, it's like, like that, isn't it? It's like, oh, my <laughs> eyes. Uh, good afternoon, everybody, says Robin McMorrow. I hope you're all OK. Uh, I have one poorly little girl fast asleep next to me. Ah, well, um, sending our best wishes to you and your little one. Um, no, and I got the reference, Susie, the day, week, month, day, week, month, oh my, the lions and tigers and bears, oh my, it's good, I get it. Uh, and Rhonda just put Bond, Ben Bond. They're still looking, aren't they, for the new 007? Oh, are they? Yeah, 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 they're looking oh. still. Barbara, is it Barbara Broccoli now? I think it is, isn't it? Mrs Broccoli, if you're looking still, this guy's available. Right, um, what we'll do is we'll carry on with it. If you've got any more questions, then um, feel free to find it. No, what I've heard, sorry, Jamie, I, I've just said you checked in my ear. Apparently, what they're looking to do is to take it right back and start back from like in the 60s. Well, just like a completely separate new Bond universe and start it off back with a young Bond back in like the 1960s. That's what I read. Yeah, that's what, and would suit, thank you, Jamie, that would suit me perfectly playing a young Bond. Uh, you're too young, Jamie. You can no, you can do it. Um, Jerry says, "I always think it would be fun to play a drinking game for whenever Michelle says the word pop." <laughs> it used to be Bob. Yeah. Um, if you are playing drinking games whilst you're watching us on the channel, please do drink responsibly. Because I know you always used to play those games on the um, HSM preview shows. We know. We know. Uh, hi, also to Shadari says, I love the clean and simple Michelle. Right. We're going to get another demo on the go. We've had uh, nothing really in the way of questions or requests, which is good. So let's get on with something else. Oh, no. Hang on. Now you're confusing me. Are we doing this now? Or are we getting on with another demo? Do you want to look at the pictures? Have a look at the picture. Okay. Pictures from Sarah Brown. Thank you, Sarah. And Sarah did send in a message. Have you got the message there? Okay. The message says... Merry Christmas to you all. Thank you. 
Do you just have to read it out and then I repeat what you say? Okay. Okay. Um, uh, thank you for everything you do for us all around the world, especially here in Australia. Hugs from the flaming galah. <laughs> Hope you like these pictures. There were so many to choose from. The reindeer, which we'll see in a minute, have all their names on them. Yes, all nine. Thanks for indulging me, Sarah. Oh yeah, hugs and kisses, Sarah. These are brilliant. I love them. Are they the little, are they the letters in the little, like little letter lanterns? Oh, it's ho, ho, ho. And then the reindeers have got all their names on them. That is Dasher and Dancer and Donna and Blitzen, Comet and Cupid and someone and Blitzen. <laughs> Look at the next one. <laughs> And the next, thank Sarah, thank you so much for seeing in the pictures. Yeah, we love those. Yeah, that was lovely. Uh, and here's Hercule. <laughs> Hercule has got his Christmas hat on. That is brilliant. <laughs> did you make that hat for him? Because if you did, that is awesome as well. I um, love that. More pictures, please, of um, uh, vacuums dressed in Christmas attire. Right, before the next demo, demo of the show, two. So we can Thank now do you. the demo of the day. Oh yeah, I've got them both. Yeah, you've got them. So line those up. <clears throat> right, so number one yeah. was the um, the gnome in disguise. Yeah. And then number two, or the gonk in disguise. Yeah. <laughs> and then number two, the one that I've just done. Okay, right, I'm just getting my stuff lined up over here. So one or two, get your vote in on that for demo of the day. And once we've got that vote done, we'll then move on to the week and month vote. But what can you show us uh, next up, Michelle? Uh, well, I thought, uh, um, totally gone off track. Um, I've got all these inks here, and it's such a shame to waste them. So what we're going to do is we're just going to we're going to do. Can't get my words out. We're going to do yeah. a bit of a background wash. We'll dry that, and then we'll just do some spritzing, just showing you a couple of the different ways that they lay down, but always lay down absolutely beautifully. Okay. So um, again, I'm going to use that uh, half-inch brush. In fact, I'll tell you what I will do. Just bear with me one second. I'm going to bring in my bigger one, and I'm going to take my lid off. Uh oh. And then I'm going to put it outside. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to use... Danger, danger! Ooga, ooga. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to pick a little bit of water up, but I'm also going to dab it off as well. Okay. And then I'm just going to dip into there, and we will just paint that across. And then let's take that off. And we're going to go in, I think we'll go in with the blue from the um, other side. And then we'll just add a third one in the middle. Oh, I've got a lovely splodge, but I'm not bothered about that splodge because it's going to add to all that final effect anyway. Um, and we'll go, we'll go, we'll go green. Okay. Ooh. They're just, they're very luscious. Mm. So let's get the colour off that. Let's put that lid back on. And I'm just going to bring this in and we're just going to dry it off a little. Yeah. Um, so, but don't think that I've added water, so it's going to lessen that mica any at all. <coughs> it, it really, really doesn't at all. So, if you've got little areas like that that are pooling a little bit too much, just bring in a little bit of uh, tissue and dab it away. Mm -hmm. Again, if you're just making um, a splodgy fun background, um, bringing your tissue in and lifting bits of colour off, so I can bring that in and I can lift it up and it's more of a splodge now and I can take that away and you almost get like a bit of a faux bleach effect yeah. by lifting it up. So let's just turn that over. And then that should be dry enough for me. Then what we're going to do is we're just going to... Honestly, you would think I had had a drink the way that I can't get my words out. Santa I... Dundas has just messaged also saying danger with about 85 exclamation marks. <laughs> danger, danger. Don't know what anyone means. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. So we're going to just spritz. Yeah. Because of course you can do that with those as well. Now I've got a giant spritz on there. But again, really doesn't matter. Let's bring in that other red. 
Um, uh, just to answer your question whilst we're watching Michelle, Tammy says, Merry Christmas, Ben, Michelle and the entire team. Merry Christmas to you. Uh, will you be doing Demo of the Year today? No, we do Demo of the Year in October because we, we our sort of craft year, if you like, runs October to October. So uh, that's, that's, what, that's why we do it um, at the end of birthday. So no, not today, uh, but we are doing day, week, month still. <laughs> Susie's furiously, I can hear her. She's counting away. <laughs> so many votes to count. Right, so this is my lid that clogged from earlier that I need to wash out. Um, so I do have, do I have another one? I do have another one. Just for my little care kit, I'm just going to put a replacement nozzle on. Okay. And then um, what I will do, I'll put that one. I know I said I was going to do it earlier and I didn't. I do apologise. Um, um, so I've I'll got go. the result. Oh. You keep going. Okay. So then we've got some nice big splodges. So then we're going to go in on top of those big splodges. Is it one of those? This one. Two. Oh, thank you. It's, it's very pretty. It is. You tell me when you want to break and I'll get the vote going for demo of the week. Do you want to do it now? I don't know. Oh, okay. Let me run across the oh, studio. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So demo of the week then quickly and then we'll get that vote going. So number one is oh that was debbie robinson debbie robinson with the shadow sentiment um dice so that is number one number two is corin's make from tuesday that is very nice actually isn't it two they're all very sparkly this week and yes. shimmery number three is michelle's card look at that boom ready 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 turn the lights on boom mm. <laughs> that's three Four. I mean, you are in with a shout. I've forgotten. <laughs> you, you're in with a shout here, Michelle. Some brilliant demos from you. So that's number four with the... Um, that's the... Um, opaque op pigment. Yeah, opaque pigment. Pads. And then the stencils. And then number five is the one that you just voted for. So five, four, three, two... One. Vote now. I'm going for three, I think. <laughs> Michelle, over to you. Thank you very much. I, I, I must admit, I'd forgot what I'd done this week. Yeah. Definitely. Um, so what we're doing is we're building up. So I've done a background. We've done some big splodges with our paintbrush. And then we're going to go in with a spritz. There we go. So then you've got those fine splodges on the top as well. And if I can find them, because I've just popped them away, um, let's just give this a little bit of a dry. Um, because what you can do with these and what you are going to do with these is you're going you're gonna to create a background um, like you've just seen me do with those three different techniques and then you're going to dry it all off. And then yeah. what you can do is you can add more. If you feel it's missing a little bit here or a little bit there, you can really build up all the layers on this, definitely. Right, I'm not going to turn mine over to finish drying it because some of those big splodges are still really, really wet. But what I am going to do is, let me just get my smaller rocker block. And where have I put them? I've put them here, haven't I? some of these little um, background stamps. So I've got a little splodge. Okay. And I've got the little script. Oh, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop that on there. Quick question from Pat. She says she's got a question about the rubber mat that you're okay. using. Okay. Uh, how easy is it to clean that mat after using it with the paint? Oh, my gosh. So easy. Mm. It's the only time that I enjoy doing a little bit of washing up. Yeah. Because everything <laughs> just cleans off there beautifully. <laughs> But so, yes, definitely. It's silicon, isn't it? It is, mm. yeah, it's silicon. So it just, everything literally just slides off of it yeah. like a dream, definitely. Perfect. Um, I've got mine in my little pots. If I'd have had them on my desk or on here and I had, it was sort of spread out a little bit more, I would probably just dip that into it. But because I haven't, I'm going to just use my paintbrush and I'm just going to put it all over my stamp. And then we're just going to pop that down. And let me 
Let me just try and flatten it just a little bit. There we go. We're just going to put some random little stampy splodges. Yeah. So pop that there and pop that there. Mine's quite wet, so what I could do if I wanted to is take a little bit off and then go back in because then a lot of that extra excess has been taken off and I can go back in. So you're just going to get lots of little um, hints of texture coming through. So we're going to do the same with this. So, um, but again, you can spray it. So if I give it a bit of a spritz, you've got a bit more control about how much goes on there then. Yeah. Give it a bit of a spritz and then let's go in. And you've got that lovely, um, so it shows good. better, a lot yeah, better with that does. one, doesn't it? And then we'll pop that one on there. So let's give it another spritz. I think the spritz is going to be the best way to do this one. There we go, pop that on there. We need a tiny third little bit, there we go. So then you're going to definitely um, bring all your collage stamps. You know those collage stamps with the um, mask, yeah. things like that? You can definitely use those. But then I think what lastly I'm going to pop on here is take that one off. Yeah. Let's see how this... So it's a small sentiment stamp, okay. so we're going to see how it works. How? Just, just before you finish that off, let's do the result for demo of the week and then get the result going for oh, demo yes. of the month. Oh, God, look at the time. I know, I know. Have you finished? Mm. I can tell you the winner of demo of the week is... Not those two. Not that one. Ah. Uh. No! Yes! Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> so, that's a star on the board for Michelle, but who's going to get the sparkly star? You need to vote for your demo of the month. So, we'll do it in it's this order. How cute is this? I'm sorry, that is brilliant. I'm assuming... <laughs> Craig didn't make this. Uh, this is uh, this is the brilliant Becky Swan. So there's her uh, gingerbread stocking. So that is number one. All right. Then number two, Craig did make this. Is then um, Craig's brilliant box that he made using the confetti borders. Boop boop boop. Uh, oh, it's still got the sweets in there as well. <gasps> still. Boom. And chocolates in the little uh, pouches there as well. So that's number two. Number three is uh, Lily's card that she made with the, um, oh, what are they called? The box. Oh yeah, the, um, uh, you know the name of Box them. frame. Box frames, box the beautiful flowers, so that's three. And the number four is the one you just voted for. So one, two, three or four, you've got about three minutes to get your vote in on that. Michelle, back to you. Right, so I'm gonna... <laughs> <laughs> going to spritz this again. <laughs> Michelle, you can't be asking for votes. I would, I would never do that. I would never, you'd never catch me doing that at all. I've, I've, <laughs> I've got to say, I know which one I like. Okay. Am I allowed to say which one I uh, like? Or I does don't... that like sway of vote? No, you can say which one you like. I like Becky's. I do. But I also like, I like them all. I like Craig's as well. I think Craig's is very clever. Yeah. I like, them, I like them all for different reasons, but I think if I had a vote, I would probably vote for Becky's. But we can't vote, so that doesn't matter. Well, no. So. Um, right, so I'm going to spritz this again, because um, it dried a little bit. And then we're going to pop just that there. Where's the Have a Beautiful Day stamp from, asks Hannah. Have a beautiful day. Um... Don't know. Oh, that one. The, the, on this one. Oh, um, I cannot remember. I oh, do apologise. Um, I'd wrote it down, and when mm. I did it the other day, I did say where I'd got it from, but I have I've slept twice since then. Yeah, and um, been ill. <laughs> you been ill, yes. Yeah, yeah, so. Sorry, Hannah. That's all right. So let's spritz that. So I've got a very faint one there. Um, it has stamped out lovely. Mm. So let's try and see. There you go. So it's stamped out a lot better as yeah. well. So you just literally are going to have a... I'm absolutely filthy. I don't even know where my card base has gone. So it's here. We're going to pop that onto some black. Black always looks amazing when you create something like this. 
pop that on there. I'm not going to do it because it's um, it's still quite wet and yeah. I've got big splodges on there which are definitely not going to dry. But that is what I would do. And then I've got a lovely panel. I've just got birthday wishes on there. But all of your collage stamps, all of anything that gives you that little bit of texture, even to pop in um, one of your fairies on, you can stamp with these. Um, definitely so. Um, yeah, so I know it's got glued down, but that lovely panel has got quite a few different techniques on that you can be doing and using um, with these lovely um, shimmer sprays. Thank you, Michelle. It's been a brilliant show. Thank you, everybody, for, for staying with us. Really, loads of you watching, which is great. If you want more inspiration from the shimmer ink pads, of course, um, not shimmer ink pads, the shimmer sprays, uh, of course, you can go to YouTube, get to the crafters page, um, type in the shimmer sprays. You'll see loads of shows with those, particularly the launch with Leanne. And as uh, Donna, I think it was you pointed out, if you want more hints and tips and a, a dedicated video to the use of your care kit and the cleaning of these there is one there as well so do make sure that you check that out uh, if you are just having a few problems um, cleaning the nozzles on your sprays and if you want the sprays as well we do have eight of those available for you basically you've got every single one of the sprays uh, aside from the ice silver you haven't got and also the royal velvet those two are gone uh, but the rest of them you do have available as individuals so that one we don't have and this one here we don't have, but the rest of them we do. So your gold dust, your sunset bronze, and these are the um, different colors sprayed on your white cardstock and your black cardstock. You've got your deep seashell pink, firelight sparkle, uh, golden sunflower, that beautiful summer meadow, celestial map, and then your golden heather as well. Uh, listen, we are going to be back in a couple of hours time for it's going to be an unbelievable show. It's our wrap up show of the year. It is our Christmas craft vault party show. There's going to be games. There's going to be fun. There'll be laughter. There'll probably be a few arguments as well. And, <laughs> and, there's, and there's going to be a bit of a craft off as well at the end of the show. So please make sure you join us. I want to try and make this one of the most watched shows of the year. So come and join us. Have some fun with us. You'll be able to play along with those games as well. Uh, if you love playing your crafts right on a Saturday morning, it's going to be like that times 100. Demo of the month. Yes, Becky Swan. Yay. I think that's a worthy winner. It's definitely is absolutely um so many many congratulations so there's our demo of the week uh, there's our demo of the month we will pop a star up on the board for michelle and the sparkly star uh, for becky swarm will pop up in just a few moments time and we'll let her know uh, as well thanks everybody for all the fun massive thank you to michelle for taking us through that crafty stash on those thanks to superstar susie on the socials and the team i'm sounding like i'm wrapping up like we're not coming back we are coming back two hours time you'll be here won't you yes of course you will we've got some fantastic deals on our craft Vault show, but it's all going to be focused on the fun and games. Uh, so come and join us if you want to join in uh, with some fun with some Christmas party games. We'd love to have you with us. So we'll see you then, won't we? Yeah, of course we will. We'll see you in two hours. Until then, bye for now. <laughs>